We're here in Pilot Point, Texas, home of Chad and Susie Chance, and we're teamed up with Hoof Watch to bring you a series of videos for our first contest of our 13th season in Madison, Wisconsin. We've got Tyler Marshall from New Hampshire, and he's a Pats fan, but he can't bowl very good. So we're excited to do this series, and we're excited to see everybody this year. We have the Basali two-man class. It's a pairs class. You have to make two roadsters, both of them out of 11 and a half by half by one. It measures five and a half by five and three quarter. It has a little interfering wedge on the inside that goes to the inside of the bar stock, a lateral heel cock. It's fullered for six E6s. It's got a toe clip. Looks like it's been bob punched or a ball peen and it's got old school feather fullering. We're making the pair of hind roadsters. We're gonna make a left hind roadster. I'm gonna put a center punch mark which is set at three quarters of an inch off center which gives me an, an inch and a half more material on the lateral side than the medial side. That'll give me enough material to turn up a heel cock and have a bolder outside quarter than a medial quarter. Just gonna put some material into the toe Conserve your energy, you still got another toe to bump, so don't go crazy on the first one. I got just about an inch in there. Focus my toe bend around that center punch mark, obviously. If I make my bend past 90, then I can come here and I can pull the toe tight. What that does is it doesn't put any pinch marks here and I have nice transition coming out of my toe since it's feather fullered. I got me a nice even toe bend. I'm just gonna come in here and get all that material pushed out to the outside edge. I'm gonna come in here, just tilt it a little bit and clean up my inside edges of the shoe. So I have a nice, inside edge to look at. I've got my toe. I'm going to start and put my wedge on the medial side. This is a bit of a different wedge, so I'm going to come in here, clean up my transition going to my heel, and get some height. Just squaring that up a bit. Then all I'm going to do is go turn that up. I've got a little flat bottom fuller. I'm going to mark my material. Now what I'll do is I've got plenty of material. I'm gonna, I can feel it, and I'm going to set it down right there. I got it in there. And then back it up here. Perfect. Now, I've got everything that I need. I think I'm just going to sweeten everything up and then I'll turn the branch. I'm going to pick up my toe right here, and then I'll set it down, put that nice outside check on there. And I just want to tidy this all up. I want to measure just under six or just at six. So I think I'm good there. I'm going to file up my branch now.
All right, we'll make the quarter bend. I'm gonna just come out of the toe, go out to the heel quarter, and come around. Well, I'll mark my fuller and I've got my caliper set at where the toenail goes, not where the end of the fullering goes. Since it's feather fullered, obviously I'm gonna come past that a ways. If you stop right before your heel, you can flatten. But if you go into here, then you have no way of really flattening consistently. I'll go on to the outside. Lateral branch, just gonna come here, keep it square to the edge of the horn. And I'm just doing it right there, an acute bend right there. You can see now how it's kicked out a little bit. So then I can come in here I keep it straight up, and I'm hitting the back and just driving it down. Come here, and I'm picking up, and I'm hitting the center of it, getting it nice. You, you can see it just bellies out a little bit. Now I'll, right here, go all the way to the end and a few half blows over the edge of the horn, I mean the face of the anvil. It's very important that we keep that inside corner nice and clean. Just flatten it down to the heel cock. This side is shorter than this side. So you gotta quit hitting on the side that's longer and only hit on the short side. You can see I'm starting to catch that up. Come in here, flatten everything up. Make your transition smooth. You can see it's kind of belling out. I can take that at any time. And again, the outside is where I have to hit to catch up with the inside. All right, I've got the heel cock pretty much where I want it. I have a nice crisp line to go by. I'm just gonna rasp it up where I can still get at it. If you rasp it up now, then I don't have to worry about the other branch impeding my progress. <laughs> Put it on the heel quarter and just stay camped out and pull it towards you. Now push under with your toe. Now I'm going to flatten the whole thing out. Don't, don't mess with your heel cock just yet. I'm going to go out to the heel quarter, hang out, go over the top, and now come grab it. Now I'm going to get the heel cock, all I'm going to do is turn it in line with travel by hitting that top edge. You can see this. I'm just going to make this line nice with the outside, pick up, and make this line nice with the branch. What that does, it stands up your heel cock and it puts it in line with travel to where as much as this edge is kicking in, this edge is kicking out. I'm marking where the nail hole goes, not where the fullerin' stops. And I'll continue to do that because I end up, what you do with the feather fullerin' is you creep up the branch constantly.
What I've got is a little fuller. It's narrower and it's got more of a moon shape to it. And that will help me drop it in to where I don't have to go so far up in the toe, but I'll still be able to get a wide enough fuller for my, my toenail. Just come up here and do a little bit of hemming. Go out to the quarter. Go over the top. Now I got it a nice shape. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put that line. That line's gonna be my reference to where I know where my toenail is so I don't just keep on wandering further and further in the toe and connect my fuller in. Take my narrow fuller. The reason that I don't use the narrow fuller for the whole thing is because I, don't, I always find that I get scallops. My toenail. Heel nail and split the difference. I like to just Clean up my hemming a little bit, go out to the quarter, go over the top and come on right through the branch. Just take your scribe, this is going to represent my toenail. about where I want to be just come in here and help it out a little bit right where that that toenail would be mark my toenail heel nail and split the difference Push into it a little bit. Ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. Just one more. Give me a good one. Perfect. Good job. I'm just going to clean that edge up a little bit, push that down, and I got plenty of material for my source hole. Stay at the base. And just come up and just kind of clean up right to the toe. Put a nice toe in there. And then go, come from the toe and hold the, the heel and just kind of come right on through the heel on this. I busted all that junk loose. And flatten it up really nice. Come in and just. All right, hold it in the heel. 
Come on through and just get your toe really nice toe coming into the toe clip. All I'm going to do is do the final shaping on it. Fuller it and make it look just, just right. All righty, I think that's pretty much it.